A massive assault was launched against the second titan, Li Gong, accumulating on the weekend of the 17th of March 2024 at around 9pm GMT. Pilots from across the galaxy participated equipped with Thargoid pulse wave neutralizers, caustic sink launchers and the crucial Guardian nanite torpedoes. This combined might of the community and different player groups have resulted in no less than the second Titan falling within two weeks of the first, the first being Tyrannis. Now this combined might breaching the Titan's defences, using Guardian nanite torpedoes to overload the Titan's internal systems has left people asking a lot of questions. It's great for the first one, great for the second one. We can see the same show for the remaining six. However, however pessimistic some people may be, it is a fantastic in-game event and certainly worthwhile watching, especially if you've got a player group to watch with. And that's exactly what we did. We got the crew together, the people we generally play with on the weekends on Twitch and YouTube when we stream, and we got together, got into Ligong and managed to get close enough to experience it in all its awe and wonder. And when I say awe and wonder, I'm not putting that on for dramatic effect. There is no one who can turn around and say, hey, I'm disappointed with that, because no one can be. It's visually spectacular. There's still peril with the Thargoids flying around. And even though it went into a degraded state on Saturday evening around about 10 past nine in the evening GMT, and then 24 hours later, it went critical. You still had that feeling of awe and wonder. Now this victory against the second Titan Ligong is a major victory for players and in the game, humanity, you could say. Salvage operations are already underway at Tyrannis, going through the graveyard and what's left behind. And we expect that Ligong is certainly gonna have the same sort of graveyard effect there for players to pick through and salvage wreckage and other Thargoid items about a week later. Now I'd like to thank Commander Simon and Commander Blue Void for their footage they sent me this morning to augment the footage that I basically captured myself from my further lance as we got right inside the Taurus effect as that went critical. Also thanks to all the other people on the stream, Narco Wookie, everybody else, Fish Sticks, all those people who came in and made this a really good experience, a good community experience, a spectacle really to behold. Like I mentioned, we ventured a little bit further in, getting a little bit sure of ourselves now as we got close to the Titan before it went critical. As you can see here, things are glowing, things are picking up, things are going a little bit wrong for that Titan. And as we got down to the last couple of seconds, we certainly saw a lot of activity from the Thargoids coming around, applying us a little bit of beef, what with the swarm and their weapons. Always good to have a crew in place as well who have got some regeneration beams for your shields and also some repair limpets. That support structure makes it a really good experience for everybody. And also you're able to get some really good spectacular views of the Titan going critical inside. Now, as you can see, I'm getting quite a lot of beef here. I'm gonna have to zip around and get out of the way. The Thargoids are in typical pursuit mode. Let's just say that. Picking off anyone who gets too close to the Titan, even though they really should be evacuating out of the custard pot. Well, this huge yellow moor as well, spewing out its Thargoids, provided not only a flame for us moths to gather around, but also a focal point. Whereas, well, what if happens if we get really close to that? What could potentially happen? Well, the following footage is going to show you. Here we are. We're getting right into position. And I think Frontier done an absolutely fantastic job of marketing the whole Thargoid attack and Titan destruction, rallying commanders around to do their part with good, I believe, very good 
rewards as well. Not only with in-game paint jobs and ship kits, but also arcs where players can also use in the shop to customize their own rides. The relentless barrage of the attacks focused on exploiting the weaknesses presented. Now we've got the Guardian Namite torpedoes. I've also got players thinking, well, what next? What next for the Thargoid War? Is this the pinnacle? Are we ever going to see on foot Thargoids? Are we being able to get up close and personal with them? Is there going to be additional Odyssey gameplay applied to the Thargoid War on foot where we get to combat the Thargoids directly? As you can see now, we're 29 seconds, 27 seconds on the clock. Titan Lagong and its surrounding forces are not giving up without a fight. As I mentioned earlier on in this video, we saw an increased Thargoid presence around the Titan. And when it started to go critical, we got some really good shots. Take a look. Here we go. Just look, Simon is seven, Randy River, 235k away. And that, my friends, was the destruction of the second Titan, Le Gong. Spectacular. Well done, Frontier. Well done. On to the third one now. Oya, oh, yeah, we think, is going to be the next Titan people are going to be having a go at. The war continues. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the footage. I'll see you soon.